Welcome back guys, Shinchi42 here. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a lot of helpful tips and we're gonna count it down and then summarize it on how many tips I have given you guys. So tip number one is upgrade your city hall and just do the bare minimum that you need. You don't have to upgrade all the buildings before you can upgrade your city hall. So upgrade your city hall right away and rush it because your city hall is gonna be partnering with your academy and you need your academy to get your account really boost up and to get that tier three units and the tier three units that I'm talking about there, uh, you have to go to the military technology and then you need to basically research all these tier three units because when you're trying to aim for tier four, this is gonna be a while. This is gonna be the easiest way for you guys to be a contender in the game and having this tier three units will actually uh, help you guys a lot because they are very, very strong especially in the mid early game and in the late game you definitely need to rush your city hall and academy to get to the tier 4 units. Tip number two is to research your tier 3 units as fast as you can because this would actually help you to be a contender in this game and you're going to be able to train a lot of troops right away. Don't worry about the buffs here from these research, the increase of defense attack. Just do the bare minimum, just do the bare prerequisite until you reach your tier three units in the mid and early game. And then you guys can focus back into researching them, uh, the prerequisite I mean. And then you have to start focusing on getting the bare minimum. As you can see, I'm just doing the bare minimum and I am trying to get the tier four units here. But I do wanna give you guys one more advice here is Focus on your economic technology and if you see this technology is called writing, it's going to increase your research speed. So take that into consideration so that you won't have to spend such a long time researching your tier 3 units or tier 4 units. And then before you research your tier 4 units, make sure to obtain this mathematics and uh, upgrade that so that your research speed would be a lot quicker and you won't use as much speed ups that you would normally need to if you are if you did not obtain that mathematics technology tip number three is keep farming barbarians because this is the best way for you to obtain a lot of loots and not just that you're gonna obtain a lot of loots and you're also going to obtain some experience points to level up your commander so consider this option to where Farming barbarians is way better than just farming into the resource tiles because you can farm a lot of barbarians so quick compared to farming into the resource tiles. As you can see, you can obtain all these potential rewards just by farming the barbarians. What I do suggest is to finish up your action points and then if you need to step away from the game, focus on the resource tiles. But if you're going to be active, farm the barbarians because that's the best way for you guys to have these backup resources like I do and this backup resources will be such a great tool for you when you are at a war tip number four here guys utilize your scouts and click this uh, zoom out and then click the explore checkbox here and you can see that there are some unexplored uh, villages or caves they're gonna be yellow they're uninvestigated let's look at this villager here and let's collect the resources as you can see I was able to obtain some tier 1 units what I'm going to do with that tier 1 units is I'm just going to upgrade them into tier 3 units not tier 2 tier 3 units and so let's collect you got a building speed up great way for you to obtain a lot of resources here and there are also caves and you can explore these caves and get some treasure caves and you will be able to get a lot of uh, items there too so let's go back to the base and let's go to the academy and as you can see this irrigation handsaw sickle and masonry and hand axe once you're in the early stage of the game start doing a lot of scouting in the area and collect those villagers items that you guys could receive the villagers gift because you would receive a lot of resources from there and also you're gonna have some technology there in the early game you're gonna be able to collect the irrigation handsaw and sickle masonry and hand axe technology from the villagers in the early game 
So make sure to don't focus on researching this. You're just going to waste a lot of resources and time early game while you can just receive a fully research from the villagers. Consider that one and you will see that is a great tip that I'm going to give you guys. Tip number five is to find a good alliance. In this alliance, TIK, the Immortal Kings, I am the leader here, but my brother is currently filling up the role because I needed this saintless role to gathering speed by 10%. But okay, so my tip here is to find a good alliance. This is not going to be easy for a lot of you guys because there are a lot of aspiring players that wants to be a leader, but they are not capable of being a leader. So you are perfectly okay to move to a different alliance and some of you guys may have to move to three or four or five alliances that's fine because you need to find out where you best fit and what kind of leader that you guys would get along with in my alliance there is a lot of players already that had left because i've kicked them because they were not improving their power and i was making a power requirement but also i have some legacy members here and i have given them the opportunity to be a rank 3 and have a permanently safe from being kicked as long as they are active. So find a good leader, find a, a leader that is understanding and a leader that will reach out and make friends. So what I've done is that I have made friends with some of the top alliances here. We weren't used to be at the top alliance and so was BOL and so was TUF. We were like around rank 40 way back then but now we control the top 10 alliances in this kingdom and with zg6 f42 our friends bol our family and zg6 is our family dnu our family tuf our family and uh smp our family also so what we have done is we have created a great relationship with the leaders here and the representative of each alliances and that's what's going to determine your success in this game. You cannot win by yourself. One alliance cannot win by themselves. You need to make friends. You need to make good allies, good relationship, and do not backstab your allies because that's just not going to give you guys a good reputation in this game. So that is my tip number five. That is the biggest tip that I can give you guys because that is what's going to define if you're going to be successful in this game is to find a good alliance so this is the top five tips that i could give you guys as of right now because there's so much uh, tips that i could give you guys but i can only give it to you guys in such a limited time in this video so i didn't want to make a really long video i wanted to be short and concise and get to the right topic right away a right point but if you guys have any other advice or tips for beginners how to be successful, make sure to leave that down in the comment section below and uh, make sure to write it out pretty good and maybe I can pin it so that everybody can see it. But this is the top five successful videos that I think that you guys would be able to uh, rank up and power up right away and be able to enjoy this game and be a contender in this game. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button here so that you guys can be notified when I upload another video and uh, again I want to say thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel for those who have subscribed already and for those who haven't don't forget to subscribe right and I just want to be able to um, say that I'm so grateful for everyone here that have been watching my videos and supporting me from the beginning and I hope that I can keep giving you guys such a great tips and advices here and be successful. And I want to know also if you guys are still enjoying this game. I know it's been officially launched for about a month now. So let me know how you guys are doing. I would love to hear it from you guys. Don't forget also guys to check out my Twitter account and Instagram. It's Shinchi42Gaming and it's going to be down in the description below. And check out my description below, okay? And um, yeah, so... Any concerns and comments, make sure to let me know. Don't forget again, guys, to share this video to your friends, family members, and enemies in the game. Because they always need some tips and advice, right? Alright, guys. Bonus tips here, guys. Go to your daily objective. Make sure to complete your daily objectives every single day. Because once you've reached this 
uh, last chest here. You guys are going to be able to get 100 gems and a golden key in Epic Commander Sculpture. These are universal and you can convert this into any commanders you want. So do your daily objectives, get that golden key because you can get a lot of us legendary sculptures there for if you want to save up those golden keys and open them up. So use that and you guys will also receive some silver key here on the third chest. Utilize this. You guys are going to be very successful if you guys keep on doing this. And uh, this is just going to help your account daily. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your opinion and make sure don't forget to like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely see you guys in the next video.